Hey everybody, it's day number three, and today's prompt is poison. Um, before I go on, I have to say that I meant to do a voiceover yesterday, and I totally forgot until the video was about 80% uploaded, so I was like, eh, I think I will not do that. So anyway, um, the only thing I was going to say yesterday is that... Uh, it was only day two, and I already went off of the theme that I chose to do, which I'm not strict about it by any means, but the theme I was going to do was like insects of some sort, mostly moths or butterflies, but uh, insects, really. And But yesterday, whenever the uh, it was divided, I just totally had an idea that was in an old sketchbook, and... I wanted to go with it and recreate it. So anyway, th there's that. Anyway, today is poison, and I chose a painting here with a skull. It's not really a painting. I mean, I guess it's a painting, but I used ink since it's Inktober. Um, so it's a skull, and I am going to put this little moth on the top, and it is apparently called a cinnabar moth. They're not around these parts of the United States, but I chose it because apparently it is poisonous, and so the reason it has these amazing, this amazing, like, red stark colors is a warning to the predators that it is poisonous, so I thought it was really cool, and I was inspired by my friend Lorraine, shout out Lorraine, um, that she did like a black and white thing with splash of red and I thought it looked so cool so I thought I would do that for funsies today so this um this little guy is all I don't know it it's this Higgins ink um is the black and then I used a little bit of this Pentec pre-filled black ink um, I also used a ballpoint pen real quick on this, and the red is the Liquitex um, acrylic ink that I've been trying to use. That's the other goal I wanted to try to use those inks, the Liquitex acrylic inks, as much as possible this month. Because I haven't really used them so as much as I'd like, and I'd like to explore them and get to know them a little better. So... That's about it. Um, I feel a little less stressed today than I did the first day. <laughs> I think everyone does that. They're like, this is going to be awesome. I'm going to do Inktober and it's going to be great and I'm not going to stress about it. But of course, I always stress. I want to do the best I can and then whenever I feel like I have to squeeze it in a certain amount of time, then I get stressed. Whatever. That's me. I need to learn to relax, so today I had a lot of my, pre I have a huge show this weekend, it's my biggest one of the year, basically, and so I got a, all of that work done, everything's ready, everything's packed up, so today I basically had all the time I wanted to, well first I did a Tom Petty tribute that I did a Tom Petty tribute that you can find on my Instagram, um, and that didn't take very long, but then, basically, after that, I started this one, and I took my time on it, and it was really great, um, so yeah, I'm feeling good about it, I, I actually want to try, possibly, to get a few done in advance, I've heard that some people think that's cheating, but there's no way I can do them this weekend while I'm at the show. It's super hectic. And if I have time to do any, it's going to be so small. So I'd rather get a couple done in advance so that they're ready. I actually do have one done already. And I don't know. I'll try to work on one that tonight and not stress. Not going to stress. So anyway, I hope you like it. Leave me comments and give me some feedback. Uh, if there's anything you want me to talk about during these you know, these drawing things, I gotta have something to talk about, so leave me some, leave me some feedback, I love feedback, because I don't have, like, a thousand subscribers or anything, so when I get one comment, I'm like, yahoo, so yeah, leave me a comment, um, hit the thumbs up, 
and I'll see you tomorrow, maybe, or maybe the next day. Later. <laughs>